this is a an extra video to go with my previous video that was about this thing called corporate clean and this video is just about this slider that you see here moving across the screen what we're going to do we're going to um, change how the slider works basically in the original theme when you download it it will have three or four different styles in the top here the, where there's this the, the text here and the image there's no image in this one and on the original theme there's a bit I've changed the pictures in this one in the last video but this one is uh, an image with no text and we're going to make them all the same so let's get started right, this video is to complement my last video about editing the slideshow feature in a Drupal theme called corporate clean the two videos should be watched as a pair I couldn't fit all the information on one YouTube 15 minute time slot that's why I've had to make this one right so before you start make a backup copy of your page.tpl.php file always make a backup copy before you change anything so first of all I'll just drag that to my desktop you won't be able to see this but so this is what we're going to deal with page.tpl.php oh open it there I didn't want to do that so I'll drag that to my desktop so I've got a backup copy of that if anything goes wrong. Now, get back to my script and we'll see what we're doing. So first of all, we've got to um, search in that PHP uh, script I just showed you for slider item. On my computer, the first instance of this code is in line 57. So we'll open that up first. I want to open up page.tpl.php and I'm going to open it with a plain text editor there we go. so we're going to search for slider item that's what we want to search for so press ctrl F to open the search box and I'm searching for slider item slider item let's find it there we go so the first instance of it is on line 57 none before that there are actually several of them but we're looking for the first one and that's on line 57 on my computer back to my script now we want to look for EOF slider item the EOF means end of file so let's search for that one on my computer it was on line 75 so we'll have a look search again this time we're looking for EOF slider item there we go 75 that's the first one there's yet again there's, there's four of these but we want the first one to start with on mine is seven, line 75 so right, note make sure you search for slider item not slideshow they're very similar and they're easily mixed up so make sure you're searching for slider item and not slideshow so it's slider item we're looking for right so what we're going to do we're going to copy these lines of code and all the, all the text and code between them right so we've got slider item all this computer code and text some words in there as well right down to end of file for that slider item so we'll copy that so where did we get to slider item which is on line 57 of mine we're going to copy slider item to that end of file which is on 75 so we've gone from page from line 57 to line 75 on my computer it might be different on yours but it's probably going to be the same right what do we do now save this block of code using a plain text editor such as notepad plus plus um, and make sure you know where to find this code you are going to use it again soon I called my code mine 
code for one slider item. So we'll save that piece of code because we're going to use it. Just open up a new page in my text editor, paste it, and there we go. That's what we've copied. Right. Right. Now we've only got one slider item. Each one of those sliders, this one, so th th this is one block of code. This is another block of code. This is another block of code. And that's another one. So, we need four blocks all the same. What we're going to do, we're going to make it all, all the different ones. So that one has text as well. Uh, this one's got a picture and text. We're going to make four all the same. Right. So, let's see what we do next. Right. So what we're going to do, this, the, the code we copied, this is the code that we copied, just one block of code. Now I want four lots of this exact same code. So if I highlight it all and copy it, go to the bottom of this block of code that I've copied, paste in the same piece of code underneath itself, then do it again, do it again. I think we'll have four, four blocks there of the same code. So we've got the same code repeated four times. Right. Let's see what we do next. Now, because I've repeated that same code four times, I've got the same image four times. I'll show you. Right, auto loader will search. Now the code we're looking for is slide-1.jpg and we'll find four of those. There's slide1.jpg, there's a second instance of the same, that would be the same image, third one and there's a fourth one. So we've four lots of the same image. So what we want to do now, we want to, that one slide one, we want to change the second one to slide two, the third one to slide three, the fourth one to slide four. So now we can have four different images. Slide one, slide two, slide three and slide four. Right. So let's see what we do next. What we're going to do now, we're going to search for slider item again in the uh, page.php.tpl. Oh no, page.tpl. There we go, page.tpl.php. We're going to search for, in, in this file, page.tpl.php, we're going to search for slider item. Make a note of the line you see the first instance of this code. Online it was paid on line 57. And then we're going to search for end of file slider item. And we're going to look for the last instance of this, this piece of code. The last one. So on the first one of this, the last one of that. On my computer it was line 57 to line 124. Then when we found this, the first one of these and the last one of them we're going to highlight all of the code. Right. So let's go and do that. Let's highlight that piece of code. So in the page dot page dot tpl dot php, we search for slider item. I want the first one where we find slide item, and there it is, that's the first, no, no it's not. Right. It's always best, if we start at the top, we'll put a cursor at the top, and that should bring the first one page on line 57. So that's the first one, it's on line 57, and we want also the 
end of file slider item and we want the last one so we'll go down to the bottom of the page so we'll find the last one and the last one is on page one two four so now we want the code between this one close that that last EOF slider item and we want to save right up to or to copy right up to page line 57 which is the one that we had there right so highlighted that we want to come back in here select all copy it this is the four blocks of code that we've copied previously and we're going to paste that over the top of this one from 57 down to 124 there we go all we need to do with the, the code that we copied and saved we're going to paste it over the top of this code now we'll click save and we'll see what's happened in our website click refresh now what you'll see on, on this third one this one didn't have an image before and now it's got one so part of them all the same Right, let's see. Right, then it went to change the text. I, I showed you how to change the text in the last video. And um, I'm trying to keep the videos as short as I can. So if you haven't watched the last video and you want to know how to change the text on the page, this text here, and this, uh, watch the, the previous video I made about this corporate clean theme. I'll have to leave it there because um, I'm trying to keep the videos short enough to go on YouTube. I hope you found that useful and I hope you pop back again soon. Thanks, bye.